Hello, my name is Ryan and I'm back with the second installment in the tutorial where I show you guys how to use Mechanim with Rain Indie. So this tutorial is going to be cut up into two parts because I've been busy lately, just busy in general and also I've been working on my own game. So what we're doing today is simple and quick, but it has a lot of potential for your own games. What we're going to do is we are playing, we're going to make it so when the AI gets near these hurdles, they hit a trigger and they play this jump animation here and therefore they will clear the hurdle and it'll look pretty cool. So um, we, we're not going to need these waypoints so I'm just going to delete them from last tutorial. And we're going to go to path manager and make it so he's not using any waypoints and he's just going to follow directly to the player. Um, so Uni is teasing us a little bit by making these turtles so these hurdles not turtles so high um, because with our jump animation currently we are not going to be able to um, get over these hurdles so we're gonna have to lower them into the ground and also I'm just gonna lower the collision a little bit maybe I'll make this a little bit higher yeah and so now our let me just clear this because I fixed it when I um, did the waypoint thing um, so now our player can jump over it, and we're going to make the AI jump over it as well. Um, so if you remember, we have this animation triggers script component that we have attached to both players. And what it does is when it hits this, um, these jump triggers, it starts a sequence of animation events that make it look like he's falling and whatnot. So what we're going to do is modify this, and we're also going to modify the script. So it will play the jump animation over the hurdle. So we can duplicate this. I'm going to name it a side flip turtle uh, trigger, not a turtle. Um, a side flip is what the actual animation is. It's not a barrel jump like Unity says it is, but I'll let that slide because they are video game engine making people and not parkour experts. So what I'm going to do is parent this side flip trigger to this hurdle right here. And I'm going to zero it out by hitting reset. And now I can pull it up a little bit. And this is um, too, a little bit too small. I'm going to scale along the x-axis because the side flip animation does have a little delay into it. So that should be good. And now we're going to modify the um, script here. So let's open up the script. So here you just have all the um, references of the animation controller. And what this void does, it starts whenever it enters a trigger, and then it checks for if it's jump trigger, then it makes jump down animation playing to true. So we're going to copy this, paste it down, and all we really have to do is change the names to what we want. So we're doing side flip trigger because that's a um, name we changed. And we are also just going to change it to jump. So the reason why it says jump here is because if you go in your animator and you have your parameter here called jump. This is a boolean and right here it says I'm sorry if you click on the transition here let's get this out of the way then it will say the transition between locomotion and jump is if jump equals true. So that's what, our, what we're setting in our script when it hits the side flip trigger it will set jump to true. So we're pretty much doing the same copying and changing on the uh, on trigger exit. So this will just set jump to false once we finally exit the side flip trigger. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this will work as is right now. See here, here he's following me. And one thing I forgot to do, 
little mistake I made is I just had animation triggers the component set to not on from our last time we did the tutorial. So now it should do that swelly. There you go. So if you notice I have the robot AI selected right now and if you remember from the Unity Mechanism tutorial that my player when I hit the jump button it's using curves so therefore the uh, okay he's squishing me against the wall so therefore the collider of the character controller the height will lower but right now the AI isn't using that so therefore the jumping is a little bit uh, fidgety and a little bit um, floaty so next tutorial that's what we're gonna fix and it'll, it'll just be simple scripting we're going to take this um, bot controller script and making an AI bot controller script just by changing some things up in here so um, I don't think I said this before is um, what we did today in this tutorial isn't the most practical thing because the AI can always hit the trigger from the side and it doesn't look as good but it's more of a um, proof of concept because there's so much potential in this um, in your own games like you could do say there's a piece of cover you could put a trigger next to a piece of cover and say to the um, mechanism if you're standing in this then go into crouch so therefore they will um, realistically use that cover by crouching behind it and just stuff like that maybe you can make a trigger that goes up here and plays an animation that climbs on top of the uh, crate here and it'll be pretty difficult to do without IK, but I'm pretty sure free users will figure it out somehow, some way or another. So that's all I have for today. Stay tuned to like Monday or Tuesday for the next part in the tutorial where we figure out how the AI is going to use curves. So stay tuned for that and subscribe if you want to be notified when that pops up in your sub box, you know? So stay tuned and see you guys later.